Hi everyone! Welcome to my messy craft room. Again, it's still messy from Saturday, so I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, I'm just gonna pull you guys up on my computer here so I can see if anybody talks to me. It's such a, a lag again. Um, I tried it with my iPad to see if maybe that made a difference, but it didn't. So, uh, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys had a great day. It was fairly nice here. A nice, beautiful fall day. Um, the leaves are so pretty. They're almost gone. Not gone, but I mean they're almost changed. And the next couple of days are supposed to get some wind and rain. So I'm sure they will change or come down quickly. Um, Let's see here. My computer is still loading. I hope you guys are seeing me live. Um, let's see. So I have a super cute card today that I um, created. So I hope you guys like that. So we'll do that today. I also have decided, I think I'm going to make this a regular um, Tuesday night Facebook Live I used to do regular lives. Here we are. My goodness. I used to do regular lives all the time. Um, and then I don't know what happened. I just stopped doing them. So let's see. Who do we have on here? Anybody? Um, no, I don't see anybody watching. Unless you're watching and I just can't see you because there's such a lag. Um, but anyways, so I used to do them all the time. I got out of the habit of doing them, so I think I'm going to do them from now on. I think Tuesday nights, they, that works for me, so hopefully it works for you. If it doesn't, you can always watch it at any time. Um, I am also going to do giveaways on my live. It looks like two people are watching. I cannot see who you are, but hi. <laughs> I got to get the hang of this stuff. Um, but anyways, um, I'm going to do giveaways on my live. Oh, hi, Deb. Thank you for commenting because I <laughs> could not tell who was watching. Um, the So anyways, I'm going to do um, giveaways on my Facebook Live. What I'm going to do is you guys can share my video. And if you comment on here, um, then I will pick a winner. I'm going to leave it up for 24 hours so it'll close by seven o'clock tomorrow night so um if you can't catch it live you still have a chance to go ahead and get the um you know comments in and share share the video so you still have a chance so i'm going to start that today with my first well well my first tuesday live and we'll see how it goes so um that i'm going to do that and I just want to remind you guys about my sketch challenge and my um, uh, color challenge on my Facebook page that's pinned to the top of this page. So that is open um, every month. I will do a new one every month. Um, and you have from the 1st to the 30th or 31st of the month to get in your designs. Just follow my either the colors I have listed or hi Diane, thanks for watching you guys. Um, I have either a color challenge listed or a sketch challenge and there, just take a picture of your challenge or your, yeah, either one of the challenge, take a picture, post it. You can enter as many times as you want. You can do both of the challenges. And then at the end of the month, I will pick a winner from that post. As long as I get enough people participating, um, so last month I had one person, so hopefully I get more people to join in. So, um, and then I think that was pretty much it I want to talk about. I can talk more, um, as we're doing the card design. So I'm going to go ahead and point you guys down and let me just see if I can remember. I had such fun doing this Saturday. Hi, Kim. Um, let's go ahead and see if I can remember how to do this. I gotta turn you guys, so you're gonna see me upside down for a moment. Ah, there we go. Okay, let me point you down. Let me just make sure you guys can see in the screen. I hope so. Um, this is the card we're gonna be doing today. Isn't that card so pretty? I love this card. Um, I just wanna make sure I think you guys can see me. There's such a lag in here, I cannot believe how bad it is. So, 
Can you guys see okay? Oh, here I go. Here's the lag. Oh, it looks like it's good. Okay, so here's the card. Um, super easy to do, super cute. We are going to pull in the stamp cut and emboss machine and do some of this. Um, so I just love how this one turned out. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to bring in the paper that we're going to use. This paper here, this is the Plaid Tidings 6x6 paper. You get 48 sheets. This is one of the papers that is on sale this month. 15 papers are on sale, so this one's included. You get 15% um, off, and it's a great deal. So if you guys need some paper or you're a paper hoard, go ahead and get it while it's on sale. And I also, if you guys notice, I have my host code here. Um, my messy handwriting is gone. I used my Cricut machine to put that on there. So that is my current host code for the month. When you guys use this host code, you will get a present from me in the mail with every order. So don't forget to use that. If you, your um, order is over $150, don't use a host code. You'll get your own and you still will get a present from me in the mail. So let's go ahead and start in on this beautiful card. So I've got a piece of Whisper White here. This piece here is cut at um, five and a quarter by four. And we're gonna do our stamping on this first before we do our embossing. So I have Pretty Peacock and we're gonna use this to stamp on here with our stamp set love of leaves so i've been using this a lot i love the fall i love the halloween leaves so let's go ahead and open this up and in here you will see i have my um the matching dies when i have a stamp set that has matching dies i like to combine them i bought these sheets they're sticker magnetic sheets on amazon and I just put them inside the case and it works out great. So these dies here, the stitch leave dies, plus the stamp set, you can bundle them together and save an additional 10%. That is the um, Love of Leaves bundle. So if you guys bundle them, like I said, you save uh, 10%. So in here we have this big leaf here. So we're gonna take that leaf and I have it set up over here on this side. So we're gonna stamp this on our Whisper White. So I'm gonna bring in a piece of scrap paper because we're gonna do, we're gonna stamp off once. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up. So I don't want it that dark. So I'm just gonna stamp it off the paper once. And don't worry about that. That's the way the leaf is designed. So it, it looks like a watercolor effect. So we're gonna take this and it's gonna be stamped right in the middle of this. And I'm gonna kinda aim it towards the top. I want a little bit more spacing towards that bottom. So isn't that pretty? But I didn't want it that dark. I like it lighter like that. So that's it for the stamping with our pretty peacock. So now, um, I'm not gonna, I, there's another part that I wanna stamp, but I'm gonna wait because we've got a couple of things we're gonna do. So for now we're done with stamping. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in the um, stamp cut and emboss machine. We're gonna do some embossing and some stamp or some cutting out of stuff here. So we're gonna need this. Let me just bring in our machine here. This is the Stampin' Up! The new machine. It is wonderful. It comes, um, you can store it all folded up just like this. It's great for storage. And then it just opens up the sides and you're ready to go. Your machine does come with plates. It comes with everything you need to do your embossing and your um, die cutting. So you get a plate one, you get plate two, and on your plates, I don't know, can you guys see? Yeah, on your plates, you're going to see little diagrams. This tells you exactly how to set 
up your plates for what you're doing. If you're die cutting, you're embossing, you're using the 3D embossing folders. So you have your plate one, your plate two, your plate three, you get two plate threes because you're gonna need them, and then plate four. These come with your machine. I have the magnetic plate, I love to use that one. So I'm taking away the plate four and one of the plate threes. And I'm gonna bring in my magnetic plate. So when you do this sandwich, you still need plate one and plate two. I'm gonna pl put plate five down, which is the magnetic plate. This is a self-healing plate, so um, you will get many years of use out of this plate. So I'm gonna bring back in this piece of Whisper White we stamped on, and let's go ahead and emboss that. So with our, with this, the um, stitch leave dies, you see that there's the outline of the leaf and then there's middle part. This is embossing. This is a really cool effect it does on all the leaves. So I'm gonna take just this, and match it up here. And we're just gonna run that through the um, die cutting machine. And this is why I love the magnetic plate because once you put it where you want it, it stays. So you don't have to worry about fussing with it, with it and um, you know making it move on you. So I'm gonna bring in plate number three. We're gonna put that right on top. And then all you're gonna do is run this right through your machine. And then what you get is this really cool stitched effect in here, if you guys can see that. It's really neat. But we're gonna make sure you can see that in a little um, technique later that I'm gonna do. So while we have our machine out, we're also going to cut out um, another one of the other stitched leave dies. So let me show you which one. So in here, you guys can see here, this leaf here, we're gonna do the outline of the long, longer leaf here. So what I've done is I've cut two pieces of cinnamon cider. These are one inch strip by four, and we're gonna lay this leaf right on here. You're gonna find the center and then we're just gonna go ahead and run this through our machine. So we're gonna do, do this twice. You need two pieces of the cinnamon cider. And then what I'm gonna do is run the other piece through, so, but I wanna show you guys. So this leaf, we're not gonna use it on this project, but I will save this leaf because I will use it somewhere, but see that nice stitching it does? It's so pretty. So we're gonna do that again on the second piece of cinnamon cider. And again, eyeball it, you want the middle. Let's go ahead and run that through. So we have our two pieces. So we're gonna set our machine to the side. We are done using the machine. I just love this machine, you guys. If you guys have not purchased this yet, you really need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring back all of our pieces here. So I've cut a piece of Pretty Peacock. This is cut at the A2 size. So this is gonna be our card base. So this, um, we're gonna set that aside actually. I'm not gonna work on that yet. We're gonna bring in, I cut two pieces of that Pretty Paper. Matches nicely. Um, this is the Pretty Peacock, or I'm sorry, this is um, cut at one by four just like the cinnamon cider. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line this up on top. 
so that stitching is right on top, but then you see that nice pattern with your leaf in there. So what I like to do when I'm using the glue, um, let me see, can you guys see me? It looks like I'm frozen there. The last comment I have is from Deb. Um, the kids aren't home, so my internet should be pretty good. My goodness, the lag is so awful. So I'm going to take, we have the um, Stampin' Up! has the, the liquid mono glue. I like to use this on especially something like this because this glue takes a little bit to dry. So it's nice because then you can um, line up your project just the way you want it before it dries. With the snail, or not the snail, but the um, Stampin' Seal, it does, once you put it down, if you press it down, it's, it really tacks up and then you don't have a good chance of moving it around. So what I'll do is I'll just line this up and then I'll move it so that I don't see any of that paper. I can trim that too if, if you do see some. So you want to do that with your other piece. Same thing. The liquid mono glue, I don't know if you guys seen, I have this cup here. I learned that from the uh, CEO of Stampin' Up! She had a crafting event back in March or April or May, one of them days. And it's just hot glue in there. And you put your cap in there. And then it's always standing up and ready to go. So I thought that was a great idea. But... I didn't, I used the cheaper cups, I didn't use the solo cups, and it burned through, the hot glue burned through my first cup, so I have two cups on there. So when you do that, if you want to do that, make sure you use good cups. So we're going to do that to this one here, just like that. And I do have a little bit of paper, so I'm just going to take my paper snips and just trim that so it's nice and even. I think I have it with this one too. There we go. So now we're bringing this piece back in. These guys, I'm gonna use the liquid glue again because one, it's out, and two, it's easy, like I said, to move. So this, I'm just gonna put some liquid glue on it and I'm gonna line it up right in the front of this card. So you have enough time to play with it and make sure it's lined up right up against that Whisper White. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And then again, if you have any that's sticking up, you can trim it. So I do have, I'm good, just going to trim that because that's going to drive me nuts. That's just me. You don't have to trim it. It's just a little bit, but like I said, it'll drive me nuts. So there's the card, but we're not quite done because remember I told you we're going to do some more stamping. Well, I'm going to bring in, if I can find it, okay, here it is. <laughs> Out of the stamp set, there's this sentiment in here, which I totally love. Your friendship is something I know I can count on. Um, I just love that. So we're going to take that sentiment, and we're going to use our, let me just put my glue away. I'm going to use the Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'm just going to ink that up. So, on here, down towards the bottom. That's why I said I wanted to stamp it up a little bit. I wanted to have enough room down towards the bottom here. And I'm just going to stamp this right in the bottom. Just like that. And then we are done with stamping. So I really like this, um, but I said it's a little plain, 
So I've got a couple more things we're going to do. So I, I'm going to glue this to the top of my um, Pretty Peacock card base. So I'm just going to, I already creased it. Um, I'm just going to use my bone folder to give it a good crease. And I'm going to glue this. I'm going to use snail, I think, to glue this down. Not snail. I keep calling it snail. That's our old glue. That's no longer. Stampin' Seal. You know when you use a product for a long, long time and then they change it? Yeah, that's what's happening here. So I'm just going to glue this down on the front. I love how it all ties together. Those colors are so pretty. Um, before I go further and before I forget, I'm going to do a piece of Whisper White in here. This is for the inside. When you have these dark card bases here, you want to make sure you're giving it a good, um, you're giving it a piece of Whisper White because you need some place to write on. So, just seeing if you guys have any questions or anything. Nope. All right, so that is that here, this leaf. Remember how I said we're going to make this pop? I'm bringing in the Stampin' Write marker. This one is basic gray. I'm gonna use the fine tip, and all I'm gonna do is trace over the stitching, and it really pulls the stitching out. And it just makes it pop a little bit more. Of course, you don't have to do this step, but I think it just adds more depth to your card. So I was saying earlier, if you guys missed it, I am doing a giveaway every Facebook Live. I'm going to do Facebook Lives regularly. Um, Tuesday nights seem to work, 7 p.m. So um, if you guys tune in, oops, I just went off the line there. If you guys tune in live or you tune in when, I, you know, when it's up on my video, you have 24 hours to leave me a comment and share the video. When you do that, you will be entered into um, a drawing. And at 7 p.m. tomorrow, so you have a full 24 hours, your, um, oh, I don't think there was stitching there. Your, uh, the contest will be over with, and I will pick, pick a winner. I don't think I missed the stitching, I did. Oh, well, you, st you can't tell, but anyways, <laughs> so that's your leaf. So you will, I will pick a winner in 24 hours, and then I'll notify you via messenger um, that you have won, and I will go ahead and send you something in the mail from me. So I'm still, I still wasn't completely happy, but I don't want to do too much to it. So I, I brought in the basic rhinestones, and I'm going to take one of the smaller well not really the smallest but I can't there it is my take a pick tool I was looking for not the smallest but the and not the largest but the medium size ones I'm going to place that right in the center and that's it to that card and it's nice because you hardly used any of that designer series paper so I really like the way this turned out I hope you guys liked this card um Oh, thank you, Diane. I love the colors. It's very fall. They pulled right in together nicely. So the so that's it. That's it to my Facebook Live tonight. I hope I didn't keep you guys too long. Um, let me just turn you guys back up here. Let me un get you from upside down. There we go. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And like I said, every Tuesday, I'm going to go ahead and do these Facebook Lives. I hope you guys are enjoying them. Um, get your challenges in on my page so you can win there. Um, I love giving away stuff. So, and I have a great YouTube channel with lots of video tutorials and stuff on there. And, um, I do have a website with information too. So, and I do offer a newsletter and I do have, if you sign up, if you're new to my newsletter, when you sign up, you will get, uh, 30 free card ideas just for signing up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are having a great evening. And um, 
I think that's it, you guys. I don't see any questions or anything, so I'm going to leave it at that. Have a great night, and I'll see you next Tuesday.